Right, um, another bitterly cold morning this morning, but I've been riding around testing this little KDX125. Um, it's ready to go now. It came in because the ignition system had failed. Um, there was a lot of wiring issues with it. The wiring has cut open, which I've put into the, uh, the pictures I took earlier. So the basic reason it had failed in the first place was the regulator here, the original Kawasaki one, um, a six wire um, unit had failed. So I've wired in a slightly different type of unit. This is a five wire Yamaha off um, a YCDF, I think, 125. So that's charging the battery up as it should be now. Um, it's a, the original fault had blown the uh, ign igniter box. It's so cold this morning, I can barely get my words. Um, it had blown the igniter box because it put too much voltage out. So that's why it had lost its spark. Um, so we've given the ignition system a good go through, um, the wiring good go through, rewired it all. Um, it's obviously slightly different to Uber standard, but that's all the new sort of loom created and taped up. It runs through here under there. The main thing we've done is put a Ignitech DC CDI unit on it. So that runs off the battery and just gets the ignition timing off the generator. It's a lot more reliable and gives a lot better spark than the original um, AC igniter box. But the downside is you do need a charged battery to get the, this system to work. But the battery charging is now good. We've got lights all around. We've got a nice reliable little engine. Um, it, it ticks over, rides really nicely. Um, so I'm quite happy with the bike and the way it's running. There's a few probably jobs and bits and pieces that the owner's still going to do to it, I suspect. Turn the fuel off. Um, but yeah, it's a good little bike now. With the igni ignition unit we've put on, the Ignitech, it's a programmable ignition now. So if he, he ever wants to, he can always play with the advanced curve and try and get a little bit more power. But I don't think it's really aiming for that sort of bike. Engines, these, it has a tiny little bit of a top end rattle. Um, it's not terrible. And to be honest, these engines do a bit. This Kawasaki engine, it has this kip system, power valve system inside the barrel. It's, it's little cylinders that fit in the barrel and rotate like a KR1S of the same era, era and the uh, the KX250 I had in that I was doing a few weeks ago. Those barrels, those power valves do tend to rattle a little bit in the cylinder. So a top end rattle on these isn't always the end of the world. It's not always the piston. So um, yep, all done, all ready to go and hopefully back with its owner and out playing soon.